um, girls, whoever's watching. So, I decided to take a, do a video <laughs> on what I touched on um, earlier, a couple videos ago, and that's age play, um, aka ancestral play. Ancestral play basically is another form or another role play that the dom and the submissive partake upon. Um, unfortunately, not all submissives are sadists, and not all doms are, I mean, not all submissives are masochists, and not all doms are sadists. Um, so that's another way, another venue where the top can top and the bottom can bottom. Um, if you're new or a newbie into this lifestyle, um, I suggest a book called Different Kind of Loving that will, ex or any real BDSM book, um, that will tell you that the submissive has the ultimate power in a relationship. Um, nothing can be done without the submissive's approval. Um, so, back to ancestral play. It's between two consenting adults, I must state, ancestral adults that are not related by blood. They just role play. The dom takes on the role of a parental unit and the submissive um, takes on the role of a child. Normally, um, it doesn't separate um, the roles because the dom is the nurturer of the relationship, the one who allows the submissive to explore their sexual orientation and without judgment, without fear. Um, if a boy who's manly and a size foot six foot ten decides that he wants to put on high heels and boots and a dress he and stockings, he should be able to do it. Um, however, the difference between the regular um, BDSM and the dynamics of parental, parent, and child relationship is um, it takes a lot of time. It is time consuming, more time consuming than a lot of things that are out there um, as far as dynamics go. There are adults who like pampers to wear diapers and use them. I don't have to be specific about that. Um, there's potty training that may be involved, there are um, sleeping cribs, they wear pajamas, and the stuff is expensive. <laughs> I'm not even going to go into how much um, you can actually spend to have just a decent tools. That's another video. Um, not, e not to include attire. Um, but unfortunately, because mass media has become, and the BDSM is slowly becoming to the light, a lot of novices and newbies are coming to our communities, our websites, and they're seeking intimate relationships. Um, and there's no different, especially in the aspects of um, the mommy, son, or daddy, daughter relationships. Um, and I cannot blame the people who have these websites for us that's not weeding out the weeds because our community doesn't stand behind each other. Uh, we're not community orientated like it's supposed to be. And um, so why not? However, that makes the people who's been here longer, that calls to arms, basically, to educate the newbies. And when they see them, or they come across their path, to tell them the right thing. Um, because there's no real material out there for adult age plays and central play, that also makes it a free-for-all. Your guide, our guidelines, it should be, it really should be the same as regular BDSM and um, rules and regulations and ethics, codes of ethics and guidelines. If not put in place, it can cause 
mass confusion. Um, yeah. So, I don't believe that anyone should put in grueling hours to form a bond, a lasting bond, with a one-night stand or friend with benefits. Majority of my friends with benefits don't even know my name. And I will definitely not put in time for a friend with a situation to bond with somebody for a one night stand. I suggest that you, people who are out there for that, um, really do some research. BDSM is not sex. It's sexual, but it's not sex. There's nothing in BDSM that states sex. The B is for bondage. D is for dominance or discipline. S is for submissive or sadist. M is for masochist or master. Sex is to be given out like doggy treats for a good job. And only for people who are personal subs and slaves. The dynamics of mommy son, daddy daughter, is for a long lasting relationship. Same goes for adult breastfeeding. If a bond is formed between a mother and child, it is formed between an adult and its partner when it's done. Again, keep researching, enjoy your kink, those who know what kink is. And those who not, who do know, please educate the next person. They need us. They're like our newborn children coming into the rabbit hole. Till then, bye.